Alright guys, welcome back to the Minecraft video and today I am doing it on the Craft and Faction server. If you haven't seen my other episode, I'm basically building a big factions base. At the moment, let's just turn this music down. There we go, that'll do. And today I am go be going going to be doing a tutorial on how to build a blaze grinder in Minecraft Survival. Well, yeah, um, this that's all the stuff you'll need. Also you'll need the blaze spawners. I only need nine of these at the moment. I don't need the wood out at the moment. So I need to go workbench. Need to just create, make these into signs like so, like that. Look at that, perfect. What you need is blocks. I'm gonna make it out of obsidian. Uh, you need some. St well, you just need some half slabs. You need more than that. There we go. That jobs are good. One. You don't really need that anymore. <laughs> um, you just need half slabs. You need water. You need blocks you're going to build out of um, spawners, obviously, or you can just use one that naturally spawns in the nether. But it won't work as well because you don't really have water in the nether. So if you can harvest spawners, it's a really good one. And you also need hoppers. So let's begin at the moment. Uh, we'll build it here. So you want you want to do nah no nah. failed the first hurdle. I always do this you, uh, workbench. You also need a chest if you want to. Well, you only need the hoppers and this chest if you want to build it so it automatically collects the blaze rod, well, most of the blaze rods that you drop. So what you want to do is lob your chest down, like it's there, and then you want to build a 3x3 three three of hoppers going into it. So you hold shift, click there, like that, like this, I'll run over on this other side, like that, and there we go. This is the area that the blazes are going to go down onto. And where you're going to murder them brutally. Brutally murder them, not murder them brutally. Take them, actually, we can just leave them back in there. We don't need them bad boys anymore. Right, and that's basically, the, this is just the harvesting area. We have to do feed. And what's that saying? Oh, actually, we could bring back those blocks so it's easier to mine. But we're going to build up here. And since I'm using obsidian, you want to bring it going, like a ring one block out and one block above like this and this is so that the blazes cannot have to put them wrong the blazes cannot get out of the thing so you'll, you'll stand here and start whacking them like this and murder them you do get shot a few times and you're caught on fire and the ground around you can get caught on fire but the way you can stop the ground around you from getting caught on fire is by making some pressure plates lobbing them down make some annoying noise every now and again like if you're still on here and you're killing him then this um, piston this won't work because you're powering it by redstone now what you want to do back up here is you want to build this going no you don't oh my god I get so annoyed but yes gives a second uh, is it going on here yeah you want to bring it out again another one like this so you got a double ring going all the way around. I'll be building another one of these on the other side so that two people can be grinding at the same time. Not that there probably will be two people, but anyway. This is, you want to just do this. You don't need to put all these blocks here if you don't want. All you need to do is like put one down. Then you're going to build another row on top of this. But I like to just make it so it looks more sturdy and it just, well yeah, I just, it just looks better in my opinion. And if you fall down here, simple way, break that, lob it on there, and you can just get back up. Now you want to build that back there, get more blocks, and you want to build this going too high up. All the way around, like this. Come on. There we go. And you want to now pick any block, like you can have this one, sign on there, sign above. And you want to just cover all this lot in signs so that water will not um, go down in onto the hoppers and stuff. Um, if you, the blazes can get killed by water, they'll take damage off it, but that doesn't matter. If the water on this server anyway, the water if it kills a blaze, you do not get blaze rods off it, so you can't make it just an automatic blaze thingy killer and just get a load of ender pearls that does not work on the server anyway I'm not sure about any other servers at all but on this one it doesn't work but anyway now what you want to do is you want to just build this another thing going out again you don't need to do it like this if you don't want 
you can just put one block out then go like that and then build it around but again I like to do it like this and you just want to do this like this and like that and that and this now there's a change in the design sort of thing if you're just using one spawner then you can just build it up from oh for fuck's sake what have I done here oh you fucking kidding me for fuck's sake alright take this take this down what I've done is I've built this out too far so I'll just I'll just ignore it for now should I, I'll start right I'll just start again um oh should I start again now nah, I'll just correct it here I've got a haste it won't take that long to get rid of all these blocks right what I did wrong is I brought this out too far that needs to stay there Oh yeah, well, oh I know, I know what I was doing. I know what I was doing. I was doing this fine. Right, if you're going to do just one blaze spawner in the middle, like this, like if the blaze spawner would be up here, like up here, like if you're just using one blaze spawner, this will be fine. What you need to do is you just need to build this out like this. Build these walls up. What is it? Where one, two, three. Four, the blaze spawner will be on this fourth block. Then one, two, three. So you want to build the walls up. How high is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then have a roof here with this in the middle, and it'll be diagonally blocked. It'll be one, two, three. Right. So on the fourth block, you want the spawner. Then come out one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, you want to be building your wall around. This probably makes no sense to most of you. If you get this, I am amazed. But And then you'll have the spawner there, and that'll be how you make this one. But the one I'm doing, because I'm using nine spawners, I need to build it the wall out another block, so that the blazes do not spawn outside of the obsidian cage. Basically, that's my plan anyway. So I'm going to take out these blocks just quickly it doesn't take that long because I've got the H2 beacon and H2 there and the efficiency 5 tool pick which is very helpful it makes mining blocks a lot easier especially obsidian but I'm just making this a, like a different sort of design which is one block um, wider than it would normally be this is so that the blazes do not spawn outside and start attacking you and setting stuff on fire Right, yep, this is out three for some reason. Let's just do that. There we go, that job's a good one. I'll just take this block out because it's not needed at all. And now we'll build the wall. How big right, are we having it? We're going one, two, th three. The spawners will go on this layer. One, two, three. Now you just want to build the sides up this big. It's probably a really bad tutorial. I'll probably make another tutorial in a creative world just to um, make it easier for you lot to understand and then I'll actually have it pre-built then I'll build it step by step actually I don't need to do that will I because it's it I'll just show you what it needs to be like then just go over the key features of it again right we'll just build the walls up this bit takes a while if I did some if I had a video I'd video editing software I would just cut this part out but I don't so you'll have to live with me building some walls um, this takes a few stacks of blocks, but it's worth it because this only costs one. It only costs 15k, but 1.5k for a stack of obsidian sapphire. You can get quite a lot of money on this server by killing blazes at the moment because they sell for nine. The blaze rod sells for 19 point something each block. If I run out of obsidian, I'll just go to use uh, what do you call it? Stone blocks because I've got two double chests of it down there in those ones yep that's the plan also on this look you can see I've just down there I've been digging out a load of stuff don't know why I just felt right I'll just build a big hole <coughs> sorry coughing right here we go nearly finished building this let's refill them back up keep on building just continuous building this like, yeah this will this is acting as a, this is going to be the spawner room by the way. You don't need to worry about light because this traps all the light inside and blazes can spawn in light but not in direct daylight really. 
what well, they can I think but they don't work as well because I had glass on it didn't spawn as much as it used to but anyway let's keep on going out like this and of course I'm running out of obsidian right but using stone now this <laughs> right there we go and now you want to build a ceiling on top of this like so just this is just trapping the blazes so they can't fly away and how blazes work is that they will, when they spawn, yeah, I need to get more blocks anyway, I deliberately meant to fall down, because I knew I needed to get more blocks, that's my reason, stone, yeah, go on this one, grab a load of stone, <sighs> let's try and do some pro ender pearl skills, like this, feed, like that, go on, oh, that ender pearl skills, do. Right, anyway, back to this. I want to build this wall going... or well, this roof, I mean, not it's not a wall. Well, it is a wall, just an angle. Anyway, how blazes work is that when they spawn, if they see you, then they'll start flying about. Like, you know, they'll catch on fire like they do. That's only if they see you, but if they don't, they'll stay on, not catching on fire. And they'll just sort of fly around a bit and hover, and they'll sink down. like It's like chickens if you throw them off a wall. But don't throw chickens off a wall in real life because it's not very nice they don't appreciate that by the way some life lessons anyway I'm just lobbing uh, some ice around the corners on this then I want some ice in the middle this is just gonna make it so that the blazes all uh, spawn then catch in these water streams which will pull them down quicker and into this area that's why we got the signs if you were just doing the one blaze spawner there then you'll just have the walls in one, like in like that, and then you just put water, you can put it all around the outside of the blocks. But since it's double layered like this, if I put like water all along this, it might create a pool of water that shall flood all this, which would not do as we hoped. Right, now comes the tricky part. You want to uh, get rid of this block because it's going to be harder to break when the blazes spawn. Right, we'll just uh, actually we'll make this proper properly by going like that. We want a thing there. Shift click. Oh, look at all that. Hey, jobs are gotten right. We're gonna end the pill back up here. Let's get onto here. Now comes the tricky part of placing the spawners. What you want to do is you go uh, one, two, th three blocks high. Now it's going to be the spawning where the blaze spawn is going to go, we'll see, one, two, three, right, the blaze spawners are going to go here, so what you want to do, is wherever you're going to put the blaze spawners, I put them directly above here, you want to put blocks going all the way down, so that when they spawn, they cannot spawn above them and get trapped, the blaze spawners are going to be placed along here, like this, so now I need to get down here, and place them very quickly, because they'll hit me off like th that. Yes. I'm going to try and knock out these blocks and get away. Get away. Get out. Get out. There we go. Right. I want to place a thing on there. And we got our blaze spawner going. Now I'll just go home nether. To air. Uh, one sec. I'll just check my Skype message as well. Whilst I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, here we go. Right now I'm... Oh, and a chest. Please say I've got a random diamond or something. Yes, we go. Yes, we go. That is now a technical term. I'm going to change it onto strength 2. Lock that in and go F home. Now that I've got strength 2, I'll be able to kill the blazes in one hit, which will make the grinding a lot easier. Since I've got sharpness uh, V sword. Actually, I want to get out my looting three so that I can get load of blaze rods from killing the blazes oh god I'm stuck in here right when I go over here knock these out like this as you can tell that only one of these blazes are on like a few blazes are on fire that means they haven't spotted me yet but if you go closer then they will but you can just murder them and they'll try and fly up but they'll hit the water and get pushed down as you can tell you do get set on fire but if you have a like stone pressure plate stone pressure plate come on build it that on there and whatever fireball hits there it will not get caught on fire the ground and since I've got the um, strength beacon on well, I'll get rid of that because if you have pressure plates along here 
and you go on here and blaze rods are spawning in it then the this is powering that with redstone so it will not let the blaze rods out but then again the, but that'll stop the ground getting caught on fire like that so you can just put them around the outside like this just so that if they do shoot the floor then it will not get caught on fire and you won't just like well burn as as easily just do this like that get another 32 going on the go and that is basically it guys thanks for watching I'll be building some more grinders this is going to be like my XP grinder place where I am here but for my faction and me which isn't very many people but there you go guys thanks for watching leave a like comment subscribe and um, comment on whatever spawn like grinders you want me to build next and I'll try and do some tutorials where I don't get it wrong and look there you go oh there we go got 50 to take these out I've already got a stack and something of blaze rods so sell these so you can see sell hand and look at that 1000 and 1300 pounds and that is going to help me gain back all of my money that I spent so you don't want you to just keep on grinding when you get 20 levels hop over to this bad boy and chan and jobs are good and so thanks for watching leave a like comment and subscribe have a wonderful day bye bye